the essential aspect of recovery process it. Transitional housing for mental health. The link between mental health and homelessness is hard to define in no way does one is an antecedent of the other. So, we're left to wonder, how are intellectual fitness situations more intently tied to the homeless population? Obviously, there are a range of things that can be considered. A few of the maximum prevalent ideals held via way of means of researchers include Situations that require good behavioral and intellectual fitness can also prevent a person from earning an acceptable salary. Mental fitness demanding situations frequently make it tough for human beings to create and hold connections with friends, co-workers, families, or partners. Mental and behavioral fitness issues can be happening with substance abuse and crook behavior, furthering the probability of homelessness. Now let us figure out first about mental health and homelessness issues and what triggers of this particular problem to grow higher and higher. In addition, we will also discuss on how these transitional housing for mental health operates, what are the framework they follow to implement such programs. Mental Health and Recovery Housing Stability Value In this pandemic, we have come across with plenty of ways to gain a good mental health habit because we might disregard minor anxiety, fear, or any problem which would affect our decisions in day-to-day -day tasks. When we say mental health, it governs our emotional being, psychological and social well-being. It greatly affects how we react to any situation we encounter along the way. Mental health is crucial at all levels of life, from infancy and youth to adulthood. During the course of your life, if you meddle with intellectual fitness issues, your thinking, mood, and conduct may be affected. Many elements make a contribution to intellectual fitness troubles, including biological elements, as well as genes or the chemistry of the mind. Life experiences, together with trauma or abuse. Family records of intellectual fitness troubles. Mental fitness troubles are common however assistance is available. People with intellectual fitness troubles can get higher and plenty of get better completely. Intellectual illness and substance use disorder are common amongst humans experiencing homelessness. Nearly 20 percentages of those people have a severe intellectual illness and greater than 30 percentage have either an intellectual illness and slash or substance use disorder. Major depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia are the most identified intellectual ailments on this population. The homeless population is not always homogeneous and homelessness is often the end result of financial elements and now no longer completely a final result of an individual's behavioral fitness disorders. In the transitional housing, access to a stable and supportive apartment is recognized as an important part of establishing and maintaining recovery from substance use disorders. Research suggests that people who do not live in stable living conditions could find it difficult to maintain the benefits of recovery. And environmental stimuli can play a role in causing relapse. There is a need to identify life situations that promote recovery after completing inpatient treatment or during outpatient treatment for substance use disorders. Type of service used in this field to meet the needs of people with substance use disorders. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Authority, SAMHSA, has defined recreational accommodation as a direct multi component service that provides short term, supervised accommodation for substance use disorders. Living aims to increase the stability of the individual, improve its functionality and lead the resident towards a community life that promotes abstinence and recovery. Care requires information about the effectiveness of recreational homes and their value as a service in the care continuum. On the contrary, housing instability, mental illness, and substance use disorder might also additionally appear like insurmountable demanding situations with homelessness placing boundaries at the course to restoration. Stable housing is an essential issue to accomplishing fitness and long time period restoration from intellectual illness and substance use disorder. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA, delineated the four dimensions that assist people in restoration. One size of restoration assist is to have a home a solid and secure region to live. Although the general public normally acknowledges the superiority of drug overdose, fewer humans apprehend that restoration generally occurs. Substance use disorder is a persistent mind ailment from which humans can and do recover. 
approximately 50% of adults who as soon as had a substance use disorder, or approximately 25 million humans, are presently in strong remission, described as one year or longer of sobriety. This housing stability is the fundamental aspect of dimensions of recovery process model, without a secure and comfortable place to reside with to support your recovery process then the rest of the dimension would be useless. For this article, we will go deeper to discuss the principles of recovery process model and why it becomes effective to most of the residents. Recovery Process Model Most transitional housing for mental health follows this process to implement on their program. They strongly believed that recovery is possible, thus they established an organization to save you out from any of your difficulties. This model involves the four dimensions and the ten principles of recovery process. So, what is really a four dimensions of recovery process and what comprises this dimension that it positively aids mostly of their residents? Recovery from intellectual problems and slash or substance abuse problems is a procedure of alternate via which individuals improves fitness and wellness, attain a self-reliant existence, strive to gain their complete potential. Four dimensions of recovery comprises of four predominant dimensions aid an existence in recovery. 1. Health. Make informed, wholesome picks that aid bodily and emotional well-being. 2. Home. Have a strong and secure region to live. 3. Purpose. Engage in significant each-day activities, including a process or school, volunteering, worrying to your family, or being creative. Work for independence, income, and assets to take part in society. 4. Community. Build relationships and social networks that offer aid. In particular, the recovery model emphasizes the importance of social connections and supports. When humans have supportive relationships that provide unconditional love, they may be higher capable of deal with the signs and symptoms in their illness and work towards recuperation. Psychologists, psychiatrists, doctors and different fitness experts can offer such help to a positive degree, however connections provided via way of means of friends, family and different friends also are critical. Support groups and network groups can assist satisfy this want as well. Recovery does not only comprise of one component to be able to get through and these four dimensions are the core to your step-by-step -step recovery that most support housing used as a guideline to provide services. Prior to this dimension to attain a successful recovery for the transitional housing for mental health the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Authority, SAMHSA, also outlined a 10 guiding principles of recovery. The 10 guiding recovery principles includes 1. Hope 2. Person driven 3. Many pathways 4. Holistic 5. Peer support 6. Relational 7. Culture 8. Addresses trauma 9. Strength slash responsibility 10. Respect Recovery is developing from hope the idea that recovery is real presence the important and motivating message of a higher future that humans can and do conquer the inner and outside challenges, barriers, and boundaries that confront them. Hope is internalized and may be fostered with the aid of using peers, families, providers, allies, and others. Hope is the catalyst of the recuperation process. Recovery is person-driven. Self-dedication and self-path are the principles for recuperation as people outline their dreams of existence and trace their precise path to those they dream of. Individuals optimize their autonomy and independence as much as possible with the help of the driver, controlling, and exercise preference over the offerings and helps that help their recuperation and resilience. In so doing, they're empowered and supplied the sources to make knowledgeable decisions, provoke recuperation, construct on their strengths and benefit or regain manage over their lives. Recovery happens through many pathways. Individuals are precise with awesome needs, strengths, preferences, goals, culture and backgrounds such as traumatic experiences that have an effect and decide their healing path. Recovery is constructed at a couple of capacities, strengths, talents, coping abilities, resources and inherent cost of every individual. Recovery pathways are exceptionally personalized. They might also additionally consist of expert medical remedy, use of medicines, aid from households and in schools, 
faith primarily based totally approaches, peer aid, and different approaches. Because setbacks are a natural, though now no longer inevitable, a part of the recovery process is very fundamental to promote resilience for all people and families. Abstinence from the usage of alcohol, illicit tablets, and non-prescribed medicines is the intention for people with addictions. Use of tobacco and no prescribed or illicit tablets isn't secure for anyone. This is specifically real for children, who won't have the criminal or developmental ability to set their very own course. Recovery is holistic. Recovery encompasses an individual's complete life, such as mind, body, spirit, and network. This consists of addressing self-care practices, family, housing, employment, transportation, education, medical remedy for intellectual problems and substance use problems, offerings, and helps, number one healthcare, dental care, complementary and opportunity offerings, faith, spirituality, creativity, social networks, and network participation. The array of offerings and helps to be had need to be included and coordinated. Recovery is supported with the help of friends and allies. Mutual help and mutual resource groups, consisting of the sharing of experiential information and skills, in addition to social learning, play a useful function in restoration. Peers inspire and have interaction different friends and offer every other with an important experience of belonging, supportive relationships, valued roles, and network. Through supporting others and giving again to the network, one allows oneself. Peer-operated helps and offerings offer vital assets to help human beings alongside their trips of restoration and wellness. Even professionals can play a vital role in using system recovery to aid education of scientific remedies and different offerings that help people in their chosen healing pathways. While friends and allies plays a vital function for lots in restoration, their function for youngsters and children can be barely different. Peer helps for households are very vital for youngsters with behavioral fitness issues and also can play a supportive function for children in restoration. Recovery is supported by relationship and support group. Person's capacity to recover, who provide hope, help, and encouragement, and who additionally endorse techniques and assets for change. Family members, friends, providers, religion groups, network members, and different allies shape important help networks. Through those relationships, human beings depart dangerous and slash or unfulfilling existence roles at the back of and have interaction in new roles specifically to their partner, caregiver, friend, student, employee that cause a more experience of belonging, personhood, empowerment, autonomy, social inclusion, and network participation. Recovery is based on culture and influence. Culture and cultural heritage in all of its numerous representations along with values, traditions, and beliefs are the keys to understanding a person's adventure and the precise path to restoration. Services must be culturally grounded, attuned, sensitive, congruent, and competent, in addition to customized to satisfy every individual's precise needs. Culture is an effective affect however maximum human beings aren't privy to this affect. A cultural and social evaluation is a useful a part of a non-public restoration plan. What agencies do I belong to? Given my publicity to those agencies, which ideals and attitudes did I adopt? Which of those ideals and attitudes are useful? Which ones aren't? Another means, belief, or custom that varies throughout agencies are thoughts on illness and recuperation. Illness can be seen as due to terrible behavior or bad thoughts. A man or woman can be anticipated to take entire duty for his or her recuperation without the assist of others. Views on verbal exchange additionally vary. Direct eye touch can be valued for a few, whilst others view direct eye touch as threatening or a signal of disrespect. Some agencies are a little fee at the spoken phrase and extra significance on frame language and nonverbal verbal exchange. Other human beings mistrust someone who speaks without delay and firmly due to the fact they fee speak me softly and slowly. Still others can be careful of someone who speaks softly or slowly. Some cultures explicit themselves with action-orientated expressions the usage of extra gestures and frame language, whilst in different agencies waving hands is taken into consideration rude. Touching someone in a few cultures is taken into consideration irrelevant and is forbidden 
whilst in others it's far taken into consideration a signal of friendship and warmth. All of those ethnic and cultural variations have an effect on how someone or agencies of human beings restoration from intellectual fitness and substance abuse, that means we should have in mind of those variations whilst supplying or suggesting assist for the ones in restoration. Recovery is facilitated by trauma management. The experience of trauma such as physical or sexual abuse, domestic violence, war, disasters, and others is often an early stage or has been associated with alcohol and drug use mental health issues and related issues. Recovery encompasses the strengths and responsibilities of individuals, families, and the community. Families and communities have strengths and resources that serve as the foundation for recovery. In addition, people have personal responsibility for their own personal care and their recovery journey. People need to be helped to speak for themselves. Families and important others have a responsibility to support their loved ones, especially children and adolescents, and communities have a responsibility to provide opportunities and resources to fight discrimination and promote social inclusion and rehabilitation. People in recovery also have social responsibilities and must have the ability to get together with their peers to talk together about their strengths, needs, wants, and aspirations. Recovery is based on respect. For the community, systems, and social acceptance and appreciation for people affected by mental health problems and drug problems, including protecting their rights and eliminating discrimination, are vital to recovery. Great courage self-acceptance, developing a positive and meaningful sense of identity, and regaining self-confidence are especially important. During restoration, you discover ways to appreciate yourself and also you deliver yourself the energy to redefine who you're and what your lifestyles means. Recovery isn't always simplest approximately getting through detox however additionally approximately studying the way to increase yourself into the man or woman you have been intended to be. Now, the perfect path to take is no longer continuous. You can discover ways to appreciate who you're with the aid of using retaining your new recognition and surround yourself with people who will recognize your scenario. When you're taking step one of studying the way to appreciate yourself, you must deliver credit score wherein its miles do. Your scenario isn't always like all and sundry else's, and respecting yourself with the aid of using taking the route of restoration is a big success. You deserve the honor of yourself and others for embarking in this journey. Additionally, you aren't the simplest person who has to relearn the way to appreciate yourself. Your cherished ones, too will need to discover ways to consider and appreciate you again. Your new route includes the method of statement and understanding. Salvaging the honor of these round you take loads of willpower and recognition. You can discover ways to preserve centered for your promises, persist with your schedule, and discover ways to deal with your strengths and weaknesses in remedy and restoration. These aspects will assist you to triumph over any scenario that comes your way.